Welcome to the Power of Offense with Keith and Rodney. And today on It's Keith's Opinion, yes I said it, Derek Jackson is moral and civilized. The infamous Derek Jackson. The popular content creator Derek Jackson. Or shall I say the cheating Derek Jackson. Oh yes, he is moral and civilized. Yes he is y'all. And I'm going to prove it to you in this broadcast. But don't get it twisted. Oh, no, no, no. Do not get it twisted. Derrick Jackson does, right? He does have a chink in his armor. And I'm going to prove that to you also along with Kevin Samuels. Oh, yes. We're going to prove that cheating Derrick Jackson has a chink in his armor. But before we get there, right? Let's hear all of this from Derek Jackson's mouth. Let's hear what he had to say about his own situation and we're going to unpack it from there. Okay? Fair use. Fair use. What's going on guys? Derek Jackson here and today I am joined by my lovely wife, Danea. And we just wanted to address a couple of things. You know, we understand that some of you may have already heard, maybe not, um, that this chapter of our marriage is one that was preceded by a marriage that I completely failed. What's going on guys, Derek Jackson here, and today I am joined by my lovely wife, Danea, and we just wanted to address a couple of things. You know, we understand that some of you may have already heard, maybe not, um, that this chapter of our marriage is one that was preceded by a marriage that I completely failed. And I would say it just started around August, maybe September of last year. But you know, a lot has been said already about what was the cause and all that other stuff. Some of it is true, some of it is completely false. But the truth is, and what's going on guys, Derek Jackson here, and today I am joined by my lovely wife, Danea. And we just wanted to address a couple of things. You know, we understand that some of you may have already heard, maybe not, um, that this chapter of our marriage is one that was preceded by a marriage that I completely failed. And I would say it just started around August, maybe September of last year. But you know, a lot has been said already about what was the cause and all that other stuff. Some of it is true, some of it is completely false. But the truth is, and I'm saying it here now, is that Derek Jackson was involved with other women outside the marriage. And by involved, I wanna be clear, I'm not talking about just casually kicking it, maybe a lunch or something like that. I'm talking about as serious as sex. Um, to sexual flirtation and, and meeting up and that kind of thing. And some things that otherwise may be considered okay by some in terms of like just chatting or, or checking on people or being checked on by people that I've had a previous encounter with. Um, but without my wife's knowledge of it and with us having a sexual history, all of it falls under the umbrella of inappropriate, cheating, affair, stepping out. Um, de definitely not in alignment with the vows that I took. All right. So Derek Jackson just told us right he just told us that he cheated that he stepped out on his marriage right and that it was not aligned with the vows that he took all right he just told us this he was not honest with his wife okay but besides that Derek jackson is still moral and civilized yes he is and let me prove this to you right now here we go i have a case all right, I have a case from the Federal Supreme Court. This case is from 1888 and it's called Maynard versus Hill. That's what this case is called. Now, check this out. We're not going to read the entire case. We're only going to deal with one sentence or shall I say a half a sentence that is in this particular case that involves marriage. Now, right here, it says marriage as creating the most important relation in life as having more to do with morals and civilization of a people than any other institution. Now, let's read it again. Marriage creates the most important relation in all of our lives. Marriage does. And it has more to do with morals, y'all, and civilization of a people than any other institution. So what are morals? Well, I have a definition for you. Morals concerns with the principles of right and wrong behavior and the goodness of or, or badness of human character. That's what morals are, all right? Morals. Now what is civilization? 
Civilization is the stage of human social and cultural development, an organization that is considered most advanced. So it would be progress, advancement, right? Now check this out. Let's go back. And again, Derek Jackson is married to his wife, Denea. All right. So he's moral and he's civilized. Yes, he is. Because marriage creates the most important relation in life. And marriage has more to do with morals and civilization than any other institution. Yes, it does. Why is that the case? Well, maybe because children, right, that are born out of wedlock, right, they are. 70% of black kids are raised without fathers. And forget about elder, Barack Obama said, a kid raised without a father is five times more likely to be poor and commit crime, nine times more likely to drop out of school, 20 times more likely to end up in jail. Unlike children who were born in wedlock, who are five times richer, right, as well as more successful, at least nine times more educated, and 20 times more likely to avoid jail. Now, I'm not saying this. President Barack Obama said this. All right. Now, like I said, Derek Jackson is moral and civilized. However, however, the cheating Derek Jackson has a chink in his armor. Now, what is this chink? The chink in his armor is this. He's dishonest. Oh, yes. Derek Jackson is dishonest. Yes, he is. Because honesty means to be free of deceit and untruthfulness. It means to be sincere. And obviously, he was not free of deceit and sincere, right? With his wife. No, he wasn't. Now, if Derek Jackson would have been direct, see right here, direct is an adjective of honest, right? And if he would have been truthful, and told his wife prior to marrying her that I'm not making any promises, sweetheart. I may step out from time to time. Then we couldn't say this about him, right? He wouldn't have this chink in his armor. But that's not what he said. That's not what happened. He told us, right? He told the world that he did not honor his vows to his wife and that he cheated. He stepped out of his relationship. That's what he said. So that means Derek Jackson is dishonest. All right. So he lacks honesty. Now that's important. Oh, yes, it's important. Because I want to show you something. Right here. I have an article from Men's Style Fashion. And it says the traits of an alpha male that makes men jealous and women blush. Oh, yeah. So there are traits to being an alpha male. Now, let's take a look at these traits. Let's take a look at the traits of an alpha male. It says, what is alpha male? Not just anyone can be an alpha male. It takes time and dedication as well as understanding the real traits of an alpha male. These traits are as follows. Number one, being assertive and direct. Now, we just saw that. We just saw that direct is an adjective, right? And it's synonymous with being honest. We just saw that. Right? So now we know that Derek Jackson definitely is not alpha male. Now the next trait will be honest and dependable. The third one will be having initiative and growth. And the fourth will be showing kindness and consideration. But we want to focus on the first two. That's what we want to focus on. Being assertive and direct as well as being honest and dependable so let's take a look at this being assertive and direct right you'll notice the word assertive instead of aggressive or dominant that's intentional assertion implies confidence and self-assurance you hear that assertion implies confidence and self-assurance being direct fellas you need to be direct with your woman now let's skip down and let's take a look at honesty or shall i say being honest and dependable 
Now, right here, it says the kind of honesty you'll see in the alpha male is the kind that allows him to grow from his mistakes, but also get him that promotion at work. It's the kind of honesty that warrants feedback and helps him grow. And if you're honest with yourself, you'll be dependable too. Nothing's more reliable than the truth. You hear that, Derek Jackson? Nothing's more reliable than the truth. Be direct, bro. Now it says honesty and dependability. Build trust in every aspect of a man's life, his workplace, family, or friends, and home life. As an alpha male, your assertiveness and directness and directness will be taken far more seriously if you're known to be trustworthy. Pay attention, Derek Jackson. Dependable alpha males show up in every part of their lives. They show up not just to fill a seat, but to excel. The self-confidence you'll have as an alpha male as well as always showing up means promotion at work and attention from the women. And who doesn't want that? Exactly. What man do not want attention or shall I say what heterosexual man does not want attention from the ladies? Now, again, we just proved that Derek Jackson lacks honesty. Yes, he does. And him lacking honesty is what I would call a character flaw. Now, what is character? Character is the mental and moral qualities distinctive to an individual. See, when the case law is stated, right, that, a matter of fact, let's go back to it. When it's stated that marriage has more to do with morals and civilization of a people than any other institution, the federal Supreme Court, right, which is the most brilliant legal minds here in the United States of America is stating that marriage, right, has more to do with morals and civilization of a people, meaning a society, right, than any other group. So Derek Jackson has followed the norms of society. He has followed the norms, right, the, the virtues, the values of society, as well as he's participating in the progress of society, right? The advancement of society but even within that he lacks character now his character flaw will be honesty now character right again is the mental and moral qualities distinctive to the individual so distinctive to Derek Jackson right and he lacks honesty he does now this is why I called Derek Jackson in previous videos a quasi high value man yes i did quasi high value man now what do i mean when i say quasi well i have a definition for you quasi means seemingly apparently but not really all right so he is a quasi high value man so all of you content creators out there if you start saying this term you got to give your boy keith at the power of offense a shout out Oh, yes, you got to give me a shout out because I'm the one who started this term quasi high value man. All right. That's what Derek Jackson is. And the reason I'm saying this is because he has all of the qualities of a high value man. He has a network of people, right, that he associates with. The man makes over six figures, right? He has a family. He, he was at least well respected in the community, right? He has all of the qualities of a high value man, except honesty. He wasn't honest. He wasn't direct. He wasn't assertive with his wife in his marriage and he lied and he cheated. That's why he is a quasi high value man. Now, I'm not the only one saying this. Oh, no, not just me. But we're going to allow the Godfather, Kevin Samuels, to tell you the same thing exact thing now check this out fair use fair use a man who was able to pay for 70 80 100 percent of the family bills for a lifetime the kind of man that's going to protect provide profit priest allow you to raise two or three children in a middle class or upper middle class lifestyle to where you can travel the kind of man that all you ladies say you want is rare 
always has to been rare. He is going to be significantly older than you. If you're 25, he's going to be 35 plus. Looking at a man who's five years older than you, is he is going to be much older than you, 10 to 15, sometimes 20 years older than you. And you are going to have to compete for him. You're going to have to compete for him. You're going to have to stay hot, beautiful, feminine, fit, friendly, cooperative, submissive. All those things you're going to have to invest, sacrifice and do all these things just to hope to land his last name. And you're going to have to accept the fact that even after you get it, you're going to still have to put up with other women and him. If that's too much, leave. Yep. If that's too much, bounce. Agree. I cannot change men. I cannot change men. And the thing that you can try to co-op men, get men to because you want to believe in God and this and that, they'll just hide it better. And here's the thing. I say high value men cheat. No, high value men don't cheat that. You just need to stop lying about it. Exactly. High value men do not cheat. Matter of fact, high value men, right? Alpha men, right? Are assertive and direct. They're honest and dependable. So they're going to tell you what it is. What it is, you're going to know what you signed up for, right? And they're going to remove all the guessing. Again, this is why I said that Derek Jackson is a quasi high value man. Not exactly. Seemingly, right? Seem like he may be, but not exactly. That's what he is. Right, a quasi high value man. Let's keep going. I'm here to let you know that men at the level you're talking about have other women. This is why you always see them in gossip blogs and tea blogs, such and so forth. What are they really saying? That Alex Rodriguez and Jennifer Lopez, he can get as he gets older, she gets older, he gets hotter, she gets less. Now, Alex Rodriguez will likely stay with Jennifer Lopez because once you're a man at that level, you don't want to have to keep going to talk to somebody who's not on your level. But she has to understand that I'm with you for reasons outside of your fitness, femininity, beauty. I'm with you because I've chosen to be with you for the long haul. However, when nature calls, I'm going to go over here. And here are the rules. No kids. No out. Bring home no kids, no diseases. Don't embarrass you in public. Don't put the family at risk. Now, the reason this woman would know this, right? She would know this because her man, right? Which is a high value man would be upfront, right? Assertive, direct, honest, and dependable. He's proven to be trustworthy because he told her, he tells her what it is. He gave her a choice, a choice, right? All women deserves a choice. Let's keep going. Those are the general rules. They used to be accepted. And, and the women who have these lifestyles, they're around other women who have these lifestyles and they don't talk about it. Or if they do talk about it, they say boys will be boys, men are men. And if you can't handle it, ladies, leave. I'm serious. Leave because men are not going to change. Nope. We're not going to change, ladies. And it's time for men to stop lying about it, trying to act like you're these new moral men. Derek Jackson, you need to stop lying, bro. Stop acting like you're one of these new moral men. All right. Stop. Stop faking, bro. Be honest. All right. Learn from your mistakes so you can prove to be dependable. All right, Derek Jackson. Be assertive, bro. Be direct with your wife. This is what Kevin Samuels is saying. All right. Let's keep going. You cannot live this way. Very few men can really, very few men generally choose to not have relations with other women. And you're a foolish woman, in my opinion, if you have a man on this level and you leave because he's sleeping with having sex with other women. So what? Oh, yeah. Now, Denea. Again, like Kevin Savvy said, you're a foolish woman if you leave because Derek Jackson is having sex with other women on the level that he's on. I definitely agree with Kevin. Again, Derek Jackson, right? He's moral and he's civilized. He's proven this because he follows the values, right? 
of the society he does so he is he is participating in our society advancing he's participating in the progress of our society i gotta give him credit for that right Derek jackson is successful right he provides a plush lifestyle for you you would be a fool to listen to all of these other women these manless women these women with no men no i mean they don't even have a boyfriend better yet a husband you'll be foolish to listen to them and leave Derek jackson please work out your issues we have more than enough divorces in the black community all right we need you all to stay together work out your issues Derek jackson again if you're going to do your thing bro you need to be direct assertive honest and dependable tell her what it is what you're going to do and i'm pretty sure she's going to accept it for what it is all right now we know you're going to handle your business and take care of your responsibilities because you've been doing it so again like i said Derek jackson is a quasi high value man but he does have the potential to be an alpha man a truly high value man if he fix his character flaw which is dishonesty but let's keep going He's he's sl having Eddie Murphy said, Yes, we've effed. We effed, effed. That's right, we effed. But I make love to you. That's right. We show you we love you because we come home to you. Indeed. We show you that we love you, ladies, because we come home to you. We are committed to you. Let's keep going. We share our time, resources, money, everything else with you. And if you don't understand this, ladies, I don't know what you want to hear. I know what you want to hear, but I'm not going to lie. And what I think more men should start doing is start being honest. Boom. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear what, what the Godfather just said? The brilliance of Kevin Samuels. Did y'all just hear this? Uh-oh. Did you hear it? If you didn't, let me go back a little bit. Let me go back a little bit. Oh, yeah. I want to make sure you heard this. What you want to hear, but I'm not going to lie. And what I think more men should start doing is start being honest. Boom. More men should start being honest, fellas. Be honest and upfront. Be direct and assertive. All right. This proves you to be trustworthy. Your woman will appreciate that. That's what alpha males do. Or shall I say that's what high value men do. All right. Now, let's keep going. Start being honest and upfront saying, yeah, uh, you'll be my number one. I will tell you. Indeed. More men should be honest again and be upfront and let your wife know that she is your number one. That's what we got to do, fellas. So what can we learn from this whole Derek Jackson fiasco? Well, I think we have all learned that it's best to be upfront, honest, assertive, indirect, and tell your woman before you marry her what it is. Don't lie to her. Don't act like that you don't have needs and that you might not step out from time to time. Just tell her what it is. Give her a choice. That's the right thing to do, fellas. Because again, we got to be men of honor, men of principle. We got to have character, fellas. All right. Now, morality in civilized or civilization is important. Don't get me wrong, because that deals with the collective that deals with society. But on the individual level, right, we have to have character and principles. And honesty is the foundation of it. All right. So I just wanted to lay this out to, to, to everyone. I wanted to give everybody my opinion about this Derek Jackson situation. I hope that Derek Jackson, his wife, can work out and work through what has happened. Because, again, we need more marriages in the black community. So please share, like, and subscribe. Peace, I'm out.